I wondered if you wanted to talk a little bit about your inspiration for the book. You know, where did the idea come from? Where did you find your characters? And perhaps particularly the place and the setting of the narrative. So having read it myself, it feels very, a very important element here. It's not just the who and the how and the what, but also the where. Um, so I wonder if you could perhaps speak a little bit to that sense of inspiration for this. The inspiration came one night in, in a house in Dea. And this house, I'd gone to finish my previous book, Rufius, and it happened to be across the valley to... Robert Gray's house, who penned I, Claudius. So this is a wonderful synchronicity to me. Anyway, in this particular night, um, this is the night that the first chapter got written the following day called Plumbing. Um, the plumbing in this house was horrendous and there were these clanks on the pipes all the time. And in the, this particular evening, there was a storm that blew up and there's a, a terrible wind um, that blows through this island of Mallorca sometimes and the Sirocco blew up in from the Sahara Desert and with it came the most horrendous um, gale and the noises that were screaming through this house were absolutely terrifying and I was there on my own and there was a knock at the door and so I imagined it was a serial killer, obviously, as you do. Um, it wasn't a serial killer. It was just the neighbour. And I went and swam in the Calar at Dea. And Dea um, is a place where a lot of um, men were either forced to jump or thrown off of the Myriador. So this viewpoint very high up on these cliffs. And the women would go with baskets the following morning and pick up their remains and try to bury what was left of them and uh, the rest of them the sea took. So I had this uh, moment of realising that I was swimming above a graveyard um, and walking through these beautiful olive groves through a graveyard. Um, and uh, I'd spent a lot of time in Spain because I'd been there as a child. I had been taken to Franco, General Franco's uh, memorial outside of Madrid when I was 14 years of age. And so I'd first been introduced to Franco then um, by some friends of mine who were Spanish. And I went to Barcelona University and studied um, Catalan and Castilian Spanish. Um, so I, I was steeped in Spanish culture and I understood that this rift that um, had existed for a long, long time was still there in the language between Catalan and Castilian um, uh Spanish speakers and I think um when I was in Barcelona when I was in Barcelona there were bombs going off so I, was, I did a lot of research into the language there's bits and pieces of Catalan and Mallorquin which is part of the um is a dialect of Catalan um as well as Spanish little bits and pieces in the book um and and what I realized when I was in this house this night um was that my imagination had gone crazy and I started wondering is it haunted and I started also thinking about the trauma of my childhood and relationships that I got locked into um, because of the trauma of my childhood and the way in which my imagination worked when confronted with fear. Um, and this then took me off into um, a deep dive into my own past and reflecting on my own journey through therapy to uncover my childhood trauma and what had driven me to make certain choices about certain men and what had then locked me into relationship with one very dangerous man um, and what was uncovered uh, through therapy was that this was rooted in my childhood trauma which I found quite extraordinary so these are bits and pieces we have a haunted house and the haunted house made me think what was wrong with Mrs. De Winter in Rebecca. And what would have happened if Mrs. De Winter went into therapy? And so I thought, well, I'm going to write a novel that has a haunted, maybe it's a haunted house in it. Um, we're never quite sure, are we, with Mandalay? Um, I'm gonna write an, an, a modern version of, of this type of house book where there's a character that's searching for home, who's lost, who's searching for identity and who's locked in a dangerous love affair in a house that completely seduces her the way Mandalay seduced Mrs. De Winter. Um, and I'm also going to create a character that's perhaps a little bit different to our Mandalay character. So I was thinking more of, along the lines of Ripley and Highsmith. 
And because I was in fear of the serial killer that wasn't at the front door, I thought that I'd create some intrigue with is there or isn't there a serial killer in Dea? Or is this a figment of the traumatised landscape of the psyche of this woman um, in the novel of Lucy? Um, so what I ended up doing was entwining all these elements and I became very interested in during the writing of the novel of the link between personal trauma and national trauma. So whereas Lucy um, buries and uh, the stories of her childhood, we have the nation of Spain with all of the trauma buried beneath the soil. So I'm looking at the shadow, the shadow of a nation and the shadow of an individual and how that pitches up generations later to influence um, a modern woman and a modern man in a relationship and how they're driven by the unconscious trauma. That's a very long answer, Ed. Mm -hmm.